Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Avery and these are the top 10 books that I want to get to that are on my Kindle. <laughs> So I actually don't use a Kindle. I have a Kindle Fire. It was my sister's old Kindle Fire um, when she was younger. She just had it to play games on. And so she gave it to me because she didn't use it anymore. But I don't actually use that because I like my iPad way, way, way more to read books on. I do love reading on my phone too, but I prefer reading eBooks on my iPad. But when I'm in a bind and like I'm out in public, I'll just read on my phone. So I download plenty of eBooks. If y'all didn't know, I make an eBook haul every single month because I find a lot of good deals or free books a lot of the time uh, online. The series that like inspired this video is my current read, which is A Worthy Opponent by Katie Robert. This is a book that I'm currently reading, as I just said. And this is a part of her Villains series where each um, book in the series is a romance between like the heroine and like kind of like the villain of uh, their fairy tale story. So the first one was about Jasmine and Jafar, the second one was about Meg, Hercules, and Hades, and now this one is about Tinkerbell and Hook. That's all I know about it is that it's about Tinkerbell and Hook. I'm around 16% of the way through and I'm really loving it. Tinkerbell is very 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 sassy, just like she is in the Peter Pan movies, um, but more obviously realistic because this is a realistic book, not a cartoon. <laughs> I'm really loving it so far. The tension is amazing so far. <laughs> and then that means the next book that I really want to get to after this that's an ebook is The Beast by Katie Robert which is the next book in this series and I believe this one is a relationship between Belle, The Beast, and Gaston which sounds so stinking good to me. Um, I don't know anything plot wise about these books. I just know which fairy tale characters they're centered around but I'm really really excited to be getting into these books. I loved the first two in the series so I can't wait to finish this one and jump on to the next one. Okay the next book that I really want to get to is actually also a retelling and that is called Legend by M.R. Leahy maybe. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly, but this is a part of the Sinister Fairy Tales collection and I learned all about this from Steph from Steph's Romance Book Talk. I will link her channel down below and I think she just released a video today talking about this whole collection, so I'll probably link that down below too. This is a series um, where I think it's just different authors are writing in this series to contribute to the series. They're all retellings, um, so this one is a Tarzan retelling I'm pretty sure and I've never read a Tarzan retelling and Tarzan is one of my favorite Disney movies of all time so I am so excited for this. Next is a book that I learned about from Riley from Riley Marie. Just looking at the cover I wanted it. <laughs> I downloaded this off of Kindle Unlimited. We have the Midwinter Mail Order Bride, a fantasy romance by Katie Wilde. <laughs> this was a total cover buy, y'all. Total cover buy. Or rent from Kindle Unlimited. This looks so good. So a princess offers herself up as a bride to Kale the Conqueror, a barbarian warlord who'd won his crown by the bloodied edge of his sword. She wants to secure her own kingdom and she wants to kill the conqueror to do it. And then apparently he rejects her and sends her back to her lands because he doesn't want her actually. Oh, and she's also a sorceress. She's a sorceress. <laughs> he has no use for a bride who would only tolerate his kiss. That sounds so interesting. <laughs> it's only 180 something pages, so this could be a very, very, very quick read that I could read very soon. This just looks so good. And I love fantasy romance, obviously, so this is right up my alley. Next, I really, really, really want to read Irresistible by Melanie Harlow. I've heard nothing but good things about this series and this book in general, especially from Brie from Brie Hill, who I will link down below. I feel like she's the one who kind of had this book blow up in the first place and I'm so excited about that. So this is a small town single dad romance. He's a single dad with three daughters living in Cloverly Farms. Oh yeah, this is the first book in the Cloverly Farms series. Okay, so he hires a part-time nanny, Franny, who is his boss's daughter. And I think it might be an age gap because he says that she is 27. So I'm thinking maybe there's like an age gap there. And she's like completely off limits obviously because she's the boss's daughter. But uh, I guess they start to develop feelings for each other. I love nanny romances, actually. So I'm very excited for this. It's been a while since I've read a small town romance. So I'm very excited for this one. The next ebook that I really, really, really want to get to is Praying for Rain by B.B. Easton. I first heard about this book from Jess from Peace Love Books. And she really, really, really loved this book. This is the first book in the Rain trilogy. So there's only three days left until the predicted apocalypse. Rain is not afraid of dying and she's looking forward to it. If she can just outrun her pain until April 23rd, she'll never have to feel it again. And then there's Wes, who has survived every horrible thing his life has 
thrown at him with nothing more than his resourcefulness and disarming good looks. Why would the end of the world be any different? As society crumbles, dangers mount, and secrets refuse to stay buried, two lost souls are thrust together in a twist of fate, one who will do anything to survive and one who can't wait to die. Perhaps together they can learn how to live before their time runs out. That sounds so good. I don't think I've read like a realistic post-apocalyptic romance before. I've read the um, Ruby Dixon dragon <laughs> books and those are all post-apocalyptic but that's if dragons <laughs> came through the sky and made the world desolate uh so this is very different obviously the cover is gorgeous um i've just heard great 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 things about this book so again i can't wait to get to this one as well this is one that i've had in my library for so long i have yet to get to it this is promise of darkness by beck mcmaster i heard about this book from ashley from ash heart books who i will also link down below i love her video so much this is a fantasy romance that she recommended to me and i obviously love fantasy romance so this woman our main character woman is a princess and she could be the one prophesized to unite two warring fake courts or she could be the one bound to destroy them and the queen of thorns is determined to destroy her nemesis the cursed prince of evernight so she sends one of her daughters to his court as a political hostage for three months because the prince of evernight forces her to the queen says that this is the perfect way to end the war before it begins so she basically has her daughter be the assassin and kill him. That's what she wants her daughter to do. But one look into Thiago's smoldering eyes and Vi knows she's no assassin. That sounds so good. That sounds like it's gonna have a bunch of angst in it. And I haven't read an assassin book in a while, so this is gonna be probably a really good read for me. Here's another book I've had in my library for so, 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 so long. We have The Deal by L. Kennedy. I've heard nothing but good things about this book. Like, everyone raves about this book. So this has hockey in it, a hockey romance. So gr this is about Graham and Hannah. And I think Graham is like failing a class. And in order to like stay on the hockey team, he needs to be passing the class. So he asks Hannah, I think to tutor him, but Hannah wants something in return. I think she has a really huge crush on one of his hockey teammates. And so she asks Garrett to help her become more comfortable with talking to guys. Basically just like help her get enough confidence to go and ask this guy out maybe. Everyone just talks about this book literally all the time. <laughs> I really wanna know what the hype is. I wanna know what's going on. Next I have another sports romance. We have The Red Zone by Amy Knight. I believe this is a soccer romance. So this is about Lucas Callahan and losing his mother was devastating and left him as a sole person responsible for his little sister and taking care of Ella his younger sister and juggling his soccer career was like playing the hardest game in his life. The only saving grace was Scarlett Knox, Ella's teacher. She loves Ella and she hates him. So I guess this is a soccer romance between Lucas and Ella's teacher. That sounds so good. I love kids y'all. I love kids. So when they're in romance books, um, if they're done right, I love the book. So hopefully that's what happens here. I don't know how old the sister is, but uh, we will see. I've read one soccer romance in the past and I actually didn't really like it. It was okay. Hopefully I can really find one that I love in this book. Next and lastly, I have Wanted by the Devil by Joanna Blake. This is a motorcycle club romance and the first book in the Devil's Writers series. The tagline is, I've waited years for her to grow up. Now it's time. I won't be gentle. I won't be kind. I'm taking what's mine. So this is a story about Kaylee and wherever she went, she heard the purring sounds of motorcycles behind her. They never bothered her, never said a word, but she knew they were because of him, Devlin McRae, the head of the local motorcycle club. Devlin had to wait and he hated it, but he'd promised her mother he would wait for her to grow up. The sweet little waitress from May's Diner was going to be his. She just didn't know it yet. That sounds so good. So this seems like this is an age gap romance. And again, I need to read more age gap romances. I also need to read more motorcycle romances. I have yet to read a very, very good motorcycle romance. Um, So hopefully this fits the bill for that. There you have it. Those are the top 10 books on my Kindle TBR that I would love to get to as soon as possible. Please let me know down below if you have read any of these books and your opinions on them. If y'all don't like a certain book, please let me know <laughs> so I can maybe put another book higher on this list because um, I really trust y'all's opinions. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye!